I've always wanted to make a film about comedy. I never had. And when the idea came that I could do a Steve Martin documentary, it was the pinnacle of comedy documentaries for me. I've loved Steve since I was a little kid you know, and started memorizing his albums. But he's had such an interesting career that I just felt like I could do whatever I wanted with his story. It would take me to places I wanted to go. I mean, Steve's story is really about working really hard at something to achieve some greatness. You know, I don't think he would ever say greatness because he's too modest. But, you know, he says in the beginning of the first documentary, I guarantee you, when I started, I had no talent. Now, I don't agree with that, but I think the attitude that it took hard work for more than a decade before he had any real evidence that he was going to make it, to me, is really inspirational. When I started these films, uh, I just went to Steve's house with a tape recorder. We talked and talked and talked, probably for 16 hours. And that helped me decide a lot about what the story was going to be and what we were going to do. And then we started filming. So it took me in all kinds of directions I didn't expect. He was, I mean, Steve is so smart and funny. I mean, he's kind of the perfect interview subject, but I don't even think of it as interview because I... I felt like we just had conversations.